Exercise 4.6. Here we start the first question. The information regarding the marks of the student of two classes of a school is given below. Find the combined standard deviation of the marks obtained by the students. Here you can see in the information number of students that is n is given. And when it is division of two means n1 and n2. Remember the formula of the combined standard deviation. Here I will just introduce first this formula to find out the combined standard deviation this will be the your main formula to find out combined standard deviation but this have has to be go with the steps steps one that is to find out combined mean then step two to find out d1 and d2 then the third step is to find out standard deviation where all this information will be keep here you can see n1 and 2 the Comparison of two division will be given in each question when they ask you the combined standard deviation. Then standard deviation and the D, N1 and 2. Now here what the information first will go with the step 1 to find out the combined mean. So first let's take all the information in the book. The number of students that is N1 50 and 2 60 that is the second division. Mean marks that is mean 1. And here you can see mean 2, standard deviation S1 and here comes S2. So first of all, let's find out the combined mean here. N1, just pay attention how the method is going on. Step, uh, okay, N1, then mean 1, that is 60. Plus N2 is 60 and mean 2 is 48. Divide by N1 and N2 that is 50 and 50 plus 60. So here first let's multiply 50 into 60. Here we get 3000 plus 60 into 48 2880. 50 plus 60 will be 110. Add them you will get 5880 divide by 110. And the final answer you will get is 53.45. And that's the marks of the students are given. So that would be marks. And that's what we find out combined mean. Now we'll move to the second step. Now in the second step we just need the mean 1 and mean 2. Combined mean just now we found. So here we'll take the mean 1 60 and mean 2 48 minus combined mean that is 53.45 divide by 2 so first of all get them subtract you will get 6.55 on the subtracting this two number you'll get this now the square root of this so 6.55 multiplied by 6.25 sorry 55 you will get 42.90 that is for d1 Next for D2, here we already wrote the value of mean 2 and now we'll keep the combined mean formula, uh, value 53.45 divided by 2. Now get them minus, here you will get the answer. You can see the answer is, the value is more compared to 48, the answer will be in minus 5.45 divided by 2. So minus minus will also turn into the plus as we are finding the square. So 5.45 multiplied by 5.45 in your calculator you will get 29.70. So here we are ready with the information which is important to keep in combined standard deviation. As you can see it's a long formula. First we'll keep the value of n1 that is 50. Standard deviation that is 10 square plus D1 that is 42.90 which is already removed the square. So don't again keep square. Yaan pe square mat rakhna. S1 ke liye square rakhna padega. But D1 square that we have already removed the square right. So directly keep the value. Then keep into the big bracket here plus n2 that is 60 s2 
here you can see as to 12 which have to be removed the square so keep under the bracket plus d 2 square that is 29.70 and close the bracket divide by n1 plus n2 the n1 value is 50 plus n2 value is 60 now let's remove the calculation here 50 keep as it is 10 into 10 will be 100 plus 42.90 plus 60 12 into 12 here you will get 144 plus 2970 and 50 plus 60 will be 110 now the next step keep the 50 as it is now add this two number you will get 142.90 plus 60 now add this two number you will get that is divide by 10 keep the root as it is now 50 get multiply with 142.90 here you will get 7145 plus 60 into 173.7 you will get 10422 divide by 110 again add them both you will get 15767 divide by 110 now on dividing this two number you will get 159.7 and remove the root of this you will get 12.63 7 here the third digit is more than 5 so 12.60 second digit will increase by one more digit that is 4 and that's what the answer we found for the combined standard deviation hope you understand the steps the similar next another question in the same exercise that is the following information is available for two section of a factory Obtain a combined standard deviation of production time. Number of workers, mean production and variance is given. Let's find out. Here I again kept this steps 1, 2 and the 3. So out of this information, let's give them name N1, N2, mean 1, mean 2. Here I already kept S square, that is S square 1, S square 2. When it is given only as that is coefficient, or it is standard deviation. And when it is find out, when they ask you to variance, the variance is S square, square of standard deviation. Now out of this, let's first find out the combined mean. That is N1 is 10, mean 1 is 25 plus N2 is 40 and mean 2 is 20 and 1 plus n2 that is 10 plus 40 25 into 10 will be 250 40 into 20 here it will be 800 10 plus 40 will be 50 get them add that is 1050 divide by 50 and here we get the final answer 21 that's the combined mean step 2 to find out d1 and d2 x mean 1 that is 25 plus combined mean just now we found is 21 divide by 2 if okay that's not plus that's minus if you get them minus you will get 4 square that is 4 4 are 16 that is d1 2 d1 square and d2 again we'll find out the mean 2 that is 20 take 20 minus combined mean that is 21 20 minus 21 here we get the answer minus 1 whole square that is minus minus will become plus the answer is 1 next step to find out combined standard deviation keep under root let's first keep the value of n1 that is 10 s square 1 now this time we can directly keep the value 16 because it is already s square the variance is given so here we can keep 16 plus d1 square that is 60 
plus n2 is 40 s2 square is 25 plus d2 square is 1 and n1 is 10 plus n2 is 40 10 here we will add 16 plus 16 32 plus 40 25 plus 1 will be 26 and 10 plus 40 will be 50 32 into 10 320 plus 40 into 26 1040 divided by 50 now just add 320 with 1040 you will get 1360 divide by 50 and on the division of this you will get 27.2 and remove the square root of 27.2 you will get 5.215 so here again you can see the third digit is 5 so aage wala number ek digit bad jayega that is 22 and here we complete the exercise 4.6 that is the last exercise of this chapter now directly we are going to start with the main exercise 4 with the sections.